Hi everybody and welcome to this qualifying round playthrough video for Expert Division in the World Tour 9 Hole Cup playing one hole from nine different courses and it's par threes only. Before we get started looking at the replays and obviously I'll give you my adjustments and other tips and suggestions as we go please hit thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Plenty of other content on the channel homepage not just for this tournament but also for tournaments up ahead and also academy tutorials on things, various parts of the game to help you improve your gameplay, whether you're playing tour play or tournaments. Bear in mind, particularly with par threes, you will need to pay close attention to small wind angle variances that you get within the game and you may need to tweak accordingly. But these should give you a very, very good starting point and hopefully help you get some extra drops out there on this par three only nine hole cup. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how you're getting on. Good luck, everybody. Let's get started. Here we go. Hole number one here in Expert Division. We're playing on Gakasho Bay. And we have a nice tailwind angle here. So it's time to play with the Grizzly. One and a half bars of top spin, one bar side spin to the left. Then we add spin first. Then we find our position. Top of the white ring, near to where the bunker begins there. And the bullseye is going to be just on the shadow. Tough to line this one up because you're going to have to zoom in as much as you can. And the ball guide there you can see uh, entering the green and the tip of it is on that dark green square row. So just rewind the video, get the aim point there. Uh, this is tough to find so maybe a token or two will just help make sure you're in the right spot. Mid plus 20, power 3 settings here. Wind angle tweaks may be needed according to the wind angle you have so please check that and apply a couple of clicks of curl either way according to what you have uh, when you play for real. Drops very nicely for a hole in one. Tough shot here on hole number two from Secura Hills. Keep the wind below eight miles an hour. Wind four is nice here if you can. Before spin set up with the bullseye over the first little bit of rough before you get that proper bounce on the fairway with the ball guide through the hole. Then I'm going to add my spin to get the ball guide going through the hole. And you'll see there the tip of it three squares beyond. So pause the video if needed, have a look at the position there. It's very important to get all these details correct. The adjustment is mid plus 15 power three settings. Mid plus 15 power three. And then a crucial final step you need to pull up or push up two rings in line with the T. So zoom in, get that absolutely plumb in line, two ring push up, otherwise you're going to hit the rough too low or you may well um, most likely go into the bunker. Perfect ball away catches the rough beautifully and this tracks for a hole in one. Very difficult though, like I said, be careful of the wind strength here and the push up. Hole number three, there is, of course, a way to get a hole in one without using a backspin boost ball. You can play it free to play, but I do like the backspin boost shot here, and it's a nice, fun shot to play for those that want to use one on this hole. With the sniper level 10, max backspin and five backspin boost, so any backspin boost five ball will do. Add spin and then set up with the ball guide going just through the hole. You can see there the tip of it just going through the hole bouncing of course beyond the pin because we want to spin back max plus 15 is the adjustment power three settings max plus 15 power three perfect ball away we bounce beyond the pin and then the backspin boost grabs very nicely and it's a fun little way to get a hole in one here on hole number three 